need some water. Yeah, that's the one thing you need. Don't you want H2O to quench your thirst in the afterlife? Oh no, the blanket went in the water. <laughs> that was a bunch of blue hairs in my water. Well, that's like grandma's pubes. What? It used to be this thing like old women would with it like like they dye their hair like this weird bluish color. Why? I don't know. I just remember seeing like ads. Remember that, like ads in Archie comics for all, like those candies. Like I think it was like Spree and Sweet Tart or like that. Yeah. And there's one that's like all these old women with blue hair. I don't remember that. Yeah. Like was this like a 1950s fashion phenomenon? I don't know. I have no idea. But... Well, watch out! It's a firing squad room. Dave, who's Roda? Okay, no. Oh hey, who's can you get? Dick? Get him. Nice, they can walk in spikes. Mm. I clanked my teeth in the, on the cup. And it hurt a bit. Yeah. Did you hear it? Uh-huh, I did. Hey. Good for you. Oh. This is a very warm blanket, you know. This is more warmer than other blankets that we have on the premises. So, like... Oh, I can only do this, this stationary ones, of course. What? Spikes. Yeah, like the, like ones those, are, the ones are gonna come up and then they're gonna stab me. Yeah, those those are the, are negated by the. Yeah, you have to have the, the, the four the poor, poor circulation in your feet. Yeah. yeah. Oh gosh. Which is actually a symptom of diabetes. You probably should get that checked out. <laughs> diabetes. Diabetes. Oh. <laughs> diabetes. Right. Good old Wilford Frimley. Wilf, Wilf Frimley? <laughs> Wilf Frimley. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> right. You want to go in and try the second boss? The special second boss? No. Actually, you haven't seen it yet. Yeah, we just got it this session. Let's see him. Go inside. Hello. And I'm Sir Wagner versus Alexander the IV. It's an IV drip. Oh, I see. What the fuck is this? I get it. You need to use a special ability to go through the wall and get the other side. Oh. Okay. Other ability. Oh. You got demolished. Yeah, it's really, it's really hard, man. There's no space to move around in that at all. Well, sometimes these things happen. Sometimes you just have to. Deal with the cards life dealt you, Dave. Life is sometimes a shitty Sometimes you get born, and you turn out. Sometimes you just, just don't get born and you're dead. Really? Yeah. Do you think not getting born is the same as not being alive and dying? <laughs> okay, hold on. Do you think <laughs> not getting born is the same as dying, being dead? Are they different things? Depends on your viewpoint if you believe in reincarnation or you just believe in one life to live. If it's one life to live, then I'd say it's pretty much the same. Yeah. Does it mean. I, actually, no, what am I saying? No, that's not true at all because at least you leave, leave, leave you have the possibility of leaving a legacy if you live a life. If you're never born, yeah, people, then you don't. People, when they say leave a legacy, they mean they, 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 mean they, they, they go <laughs> into a pretty woman and then have to take care of a kid for 18 years. <laughs> In this economy, probably longer. <laughs> yes. Look at us. <laughs> yeah. But Prime example. Legacy is hard to determine. And it's probably something that you shouldn't actually have considered to be a life goal. Because it's so different and it's so nebulous. And at the end of the day, eventually, you will be forgotten. The dev. What's the point of this game, though? If you consider... Well... It's, um, it's called Rogue Legacy. <laughs> <laughs> If you, you do not realize the of your statements. If you consider having oh. children to be your legacy, then you, then your legacy, like, your continuation will be over within, like, three generations. Because I don't know who the fuck my great-grandparents are. You don't? No. No, I do. Never met them, but... Actually, right. no, I, no, I did. I met my, one of them. I met my great-grandma. 
I don't know who any of them are, and like neither did my sister. So they're gone. Like once, once, once my mom and dad are gone, those people have vanished from the history books, never to return. Well, it's the whole point is to make some kind of impact on people's lives. You right, but it, like a, a much greater impact is done by accomplishing something, not just fucking having children. So I mean, man. I'm not talking about having kids, I'm talking about doing something then, worthwhile with, with and a, and an even art then, or a science. Even, even like the, the greatest people eventually vanish. Like here, how about this, how about this, alright? You want a legacy? Uh, at some point, a few trillion years in the future, um, all matter will have reached a state of equilibrium and everything will be entropic in nature so that no work can be done by matter to energy conversion. And all molecules will exist in and basically harmony to the point that you can't actually have life. So all those, all, all those songs are right. You know what? Well, you know what entropy is, right? Yep. And when like, like entropy is basically the tendency. Okay, the, the tendency of energy and matter to reach a state in which a change in state between energy and matter can no longer be used to do work. Yeah. Well, literally everything is entropic. Yeah. Like, when you eat food, you take in energy, yep. and then you spend that energy, you spend that energy performing an action with your body, but your body is not perfectly efficient, so like excess energy is dispelled as heat, it's dispelled as sound, it's dispelled as whatever, yes. and that just, that just vanishes. Not, isn't that the first, it, the and, first and, and, rule of thermodynamics? Yeah, and that energy can no longer be accessed anymore, it's fucking gone. It's not gone, it still exists, but it can no longer be accessed by any other form of work. Yeah. You know? So, like, eventually, like, planets will come apart and stars will die out and, like, the entire universe will become... The state of the... At the, at the very end of the universe... Is a restaurant. <laughs> that guy just suicided. I guess he wants to see it. No. At the very end of the universe, what you'll see is all energy and matter existing in its most simplest elements with each with each individual item existing exactly as far away from every other individual item and no movement even being allowed because there's no more energy that can exist to even move something it's it's all been taken up you know mm. it's like a battery you know like, like you, sh you shove a bunch of battery of, of, of energy into a battery the energy is in the battery but it's it's taken up, right? It's 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 not in use. It's not being used, but it's but you currently can't access it because it's inside the battery. You have to plug the battery into a machine to get the energy out of it, Fair enough. right? What if all matter and energy in the universe was put into a giant battery, and there was no machine possible to get the matter and energy out of that battery? It was all just stuck there. That would, and that would be very disheartening. That would be. Of course, I'll be dead. <laughs> that 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 is what's going to happen to us. So what's the point? So, so basically we should just kill each other? No. You, you, basically we should just have, is have fun because like your legacy will eventually be gone because one day your country will be gone and one day the earth will be gone and one day the sun will be gone and one day the galaxy will be gone and like you cannot survive forever. You can't be remembered forever. No. You know? Everything comes to an end. So as long as humanity exists. But humanity won't at some point. Yeah, that's fine. So, like... And even then, even if humanity did, like, exist, they're not gonna remember you because you had sex with some bitch and got a kid out of it. Who the fuck cares? Genealogist. <laughs> <laughs> they can stop wearing pants. Uh, uh, honey. <laughs> it's like, it's fucking, it's, it's like... Jesus. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, Dave, oh God, Dave. oh God. Who's that? Who's? <laughs> just go, just run. No! <laughs> and they're all here. And it's time for Dave to fucking hope. <laughs> nope, yep. nope. Yeah. <laughs> Hit by a stray bullet. Okay. You can just lay him by an ice. And... It's okay, I like this. It's not too bad. Oh! <laughs> I see. We lost in battle today nine? Oh yeah, against the clams. Mm -hmm. I find that clam is a, the most unsexy term for a woman's vagina. 
Yeah. It's like, hey, I got a girl like saunters up to you, Dave. She's really hot. She's like, hello, Dave. Would you like to lick my clam? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 